at Axis Lab 3D Printing. A spool of plastic can change a life one layer at a time. When you first meet Sophia, you find she's like most third graders. I like to play softball. I like to go play with my friends. I like doing PE in school. Is that your favorite subject? Pretty much, yeah. But Sophia, at just nine years old, has a very special story. She's born in China. She was adopted. We brought her home at uh, three years old. And she was born without her hand. And even though she needs help with some things, like picking up glasses or putting clothes on, she doesn't slow down. We had tried to steer her towards soccer, and um, she kept asking us to play softball. Sophia is going on her third year of softball, but this will be her first year with two hands. A few months ago, her mom found Aaron Brown in his print shop, Axis Lab, on enablingthefuture.org, a website linking volunteer 3D printers to people needing hands, a group Aaron is no stranger to. Sophia is my 54th hand that I've printed, and she's actually my very first local recipient. I've sent hands to Texas, Hawaii, um, over on the East Coast. And you don't have to be a millionaire to go around printing hands. Basic 3D printers start out around $300, and the parts to make the hands are cheap. We have readily available and, and cheap material like fishing line. These are some dental rubber bands for the fingers. The bending of the wrist that actually makes a fist. Sophia's new hand, green and white for Michigan State, is the envy of her friends at school. The boys want to take it and just bring it home, and the girls just hang about. Yeah, the girls like it too. And while Aaron is busy printing up hands for kids like Sophia all over the country, he's making a pretty big impression on the kids right here in Grand Rapids. I tell you, Aaron's a pretty amazing guy making all these cool stuff. And luckily, she got her hand just in time for softball season. In Grand Rapids, I'm Tracy Hinson. And Sophia Howard. Fox 17, 17 News. News.